Hello everybody, today we're going to be looking at the core, but not the superficial layer, the deep intrinsic muscles that help stabilize our spine and to help promote better posture. So the movements that we're going to do today aren't that big and expansive and you're not going to feel like a lot, a lot of core burn, but rather these muscles are more for stabilization so the feeling is a little bit more subtle and requires a bit more awareness to really feel into it let's get started by lying flat on your back and then from here taking a few rounds of breath to settle into the mat into the body softening the shoulders softening the rib cage taking nice full and long breaths into the body okay from here bend the knees hug the knees into your chest Take the arms into a cactus shape, shoulder blades heavy on the mat, pull the knees into your chest, and lower the knees to the right without letting the left shoulder lift. So when your left shoulder starts to come off, you stay. So it's just a little bit. Come back to center, to the left. Same thing, right shoulder heavy on the floor. Back to center. Again, right side, try to deepen the range, sending the knees to one side, shoulders heavy on the floor. Come back to center and to the left. Shoulders heavy, knees to the left. Good, come back to center, one more round, knees to the right. And back to center, knees to the left. Good, and back to center. Stay here. Now, interlace the hands behind your head. And then take your legs into a tabletop position. In this position, you start to activate the deep core muscles, keeping the elbows on the floor to get the chest opening here. Your tailbone, so the base of the spine here, is heavy into the floor. So push that into the floor. You should feel the lower spine start to curl off a little bit. A neutral spine has a little bit of a lumbar, so lower spine curve. Keeping this, that's okay. Tap the toes to touch the mat, but the thighs don't shift. So what we don't want is we don't want the thighs to go forward or back. The thighs stay where they are. Only the lower part of your knee moves down. Tap the mat and come back up. Legs parallel. Only the shins move. Toes touch the mat for two. And come back up. Again for three. And back up. Go for four. And back up five and up six and up seven you should start to feel the stabilizers now eight and back nine we're going for twelve ten feel the activation in your core so core is staying tight it's working but the feeling might just be a little bit 10, go for two more, good, one more last one, we'll meet back in tabletop, hold here, now curl the shoulder blades off the floor, now we're getting into a bit more of the rectus abs, the front side of your abs, hold here, now extend the right knee forward, keep the leg as straight as you can, bend it back, back and bring it back in, Left leg extends, left leg straight. We reach the toes forward and bend it back. Stabilize the core, right leg straight. And back. Left side. And back. Three more each side, right. And left. Again, right. 
and left, last one right, good and left, come back to center, stay here, head to the floor and rest, knees wide, feet to the edges of your mat, lower the knees to the right, come back to center, knees to the left, to the right. Center to the left, center to the right, center to the left. Come back to center and stay. Now knees into your chest, tabletop position. Keeping your knees together, let's have the head flat on the floor this time. Now taking your arms up towards the ceiling. So your shoulders are in line with the wrist, keeping this. Extend the right leg forward and hover the left through right heel above the foot. Take it back to center. Left, left leg lowers and hovers and back to center. Stabilize the core. Right and center. Left and center. So notice how these movements are super controlled right, good, and center to the left, back to center, arms are reaching up to the right, back to center, good, to the left, back to center, two more rounds to the right, and center to the left, and center, last round, right, and release, left, back to center, stay here. Now we're going to add the arms. So as the right leg extends out, send the left arm back, but left fingertips also hover. Take it back to the left. Right arm comes back. Everything hovers above the floor. So the toes, the heel, the fingertips don't touch the floor. Come back to center. Right, right, right leg, left arm. And back. Left leg, right arm and back, three more rounds, and back, good, and back, last two, so we're going opposite limbs, moving with control and precision, last round, right leg, left arm, and back, left leg, right arm, and back, Good, bend the knees into your chest and rest. So notice how that wasn't like a lot of effort, but you still feel the core working to stabilize. Let's come all the way up, coming into your up stretch or your downward dog, hands to the floor, step it back, hips up towards the ceiling. Take your knees to the floor, hip width apart, arms, hands are shorter width apart. Cat cows, inhale to arch the spine, stretch out the front core, push the chest forward. Exhale, two round. Inhale to arch, pull the wrists back as you send the chest forward. Good, exhale, two round. Three more, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, and exhale, last one, inhale, good, and exhale, round. From here, can we tuck the toes underneath and find a flat back, so your flat back is in between your arch and your round, so try to find Using your body awareness, find the middle ground. So sit bones pushing towards the back of the room, crown of the head reaching forward. Now extend the left foot back, toes on the floor, take the right arm up, upper arm in line with the ear. Coming into your bird dogs, stabilize through the opposite limb, so stability on the floor. Now float the left toes off the floor and hold. Notice that the lower spine doesn't start to arch like this. Keep the ribcage pulling underneath. 
and then see if you can take the left toes higher. Left toes higher, but your left kneecap is still pointing down. And release. Switching sides, right leg extends back, left arm in line with the left ear. From here, reach the left arm forward, float the left toes off the floor and hold. Breathing here. Notice how your hip doesn't start to open. The right hip is pulling down. Kneecap faces the floor. The toes reach up. The core is nice and stabilized. And release. First side again, left leg, right arm, float. And really switching sides. Float the toes off. Really reach in opposite directions. Try not to drop the head too much. Looking straight out in front of you. Just beyond the fingertips. And release. Okay, adding movement to end it off. Left leg back, right arm forward. When you're ready, float up. Now point the back toes, core stays tight. Now bend the knee, bend the elbow, draw it into touch. Inhale to open. Again, touch, round, and open, extend. Touch and round, curl it in. Exhale to extend and reach. Two more, and extend. One more last one, stabilize, touch, and extend. Hold here and release. Rest and then we switch. Almost on. Right leg straight, left leg out. Float the leg off. Keeping this, hold here. Bend the elbow, bend the knee, round and touch. And extend. Again for two. And extend. Three more. And extend. Good, last two. And reach and lengthen. Last one, tap. And extend, hold. And release, nice. Knees wide, big toes touch. Sink the hips to the heels. Walk the arms forward, child's pose. Hands to the floor, pushing back, downward dog. One last full stretch here. And then take your knees to the floor. Sitting in a kneeling position. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, release. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, release. Last one, inhale, arms up. And exhale, release. That is it for today. Thank you for joining me on the mat.